Hiya, folks! Um, <clears throat> I'm back with another toys video. Pardon my voice, I've just gotten over a sore throat. Um, now, how many of you... How many of you remember the 80s toy muscle figures? I was first introduced to these by my cousin in the early 90s. And... Uh, he ended up trading with my brother. I forget exactly what he traded him for them, but... Uh, years later, my brother handed them down to me. I still got them. <laughs> we didn't even know what these were until, like, the early 2000s. There's quite a bit of a history behind these figures, actually. <clears throat> um, an interesting factor this is actually where the wrestler Samoa Joe got his finisher from, because this was a toy that he, like, grew up with. <clears throat> now, these figures, in recent years, have actually been remade, and they're kind of like, eh. But this past fall... These fit, they actually started making ones out of cultural characters and franchises, including Mega Man, Street Fighter, Alien, Aliens, Masters of the Universe, and a few that I'm not too familiar with. <clears throat> but so far, I have the Street Fighter characters, the Aliens characters, and most of the Mega Man characters. So I'm gonna do this like kind of a Capcom sandwich, if you will, since you know Mega Man. We'll start with Mega Man. So we have. Mega Man in kind of like a flex pose. Mega Man firing his arm cannon. <clears throat> Elec Man. Bomb Man. Vanilla Ice. I mean, Ice Man. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Dr. Light. Shot Man, who's more a standard enemy, he's not a robot master or anything. And the Yellow Devil. And as you can see, these come in uh, one solid color, much like the original muscle figures. You might be able to find a way to paint them, you know, I mean, but if you wanted to, because they're made of like kind of a rubbery plastic material, so you'd probably have to find just the right type of paint if you want to try painting them. Uh, they come in packs of three, with exception of the larger figures, they come with uh, in a two-pack, like in this case, the Yellow Devil came with the Firing Mega Man. <clears throat> um, and the figures that I'm missing from this set include Fireman, Gutsman, Cutman, Mattel, and Dr. Wily. Um, I might pick them up, I haven't really decided yet, I probably will. I'm still waiting for... <clears throat> I'm gonna kind of wait it out, see what the rest of the series looks like, because this is just Series 1. So what I'm assuming they're gonna do is that Series 2 will be characters from the second game, so for example, like the 8 Robot Masters, maybe a, a few variations of Rush, because that's where he debuted, um, and such, and then, you know, so on and so forth with the, the series. Um, if, if I'm right about that, the ones that I'm probably looking the most forward to are Series 3 and 5, because uh, the third game is actually my favorite, and the fifth one, I think, had some of the coolest looking Robot Masters, so... Yeah, I'm not sure how far they'll go. Like, maybe up to... Even if they just do the any, six NES games, like, so six series is... No, I'd be fine with that. What I'm really hoping they do is take that extra mile and make Mega Man X figures as well. Cause that would be awesome. Now, let's look at the Aliens figures. <clears throat> we have Ripley, of course. I'm probably going to get the Alien figures as well from, you know, this, this is just Aliens, the second movie, which actually is my favorite out of the, the series, is Aliens. Uh, we have Vasquez with a smart gun. Don't ask me why I know that, <laughs> with the name of the gun. Uh, Ripley with Newt. Ripley in the mech. Bishop after he was ripped in half by the Queen. Yeah, I actually saw this movie when I was a kid, not gonna lie. <clears throat> I pretty much grew up with these movies, this type of stuff. And we have Hicks, or Corporal Hicks, with his shotgun. I like to keep this can handy for close encounters. We have a f there's a few different versions of the aliens or xenomorphs. Oops. Like this one is waving or something, or he's doing that like... <laughs> Star Trek thing. <laughs> There's one with the mouth coming out. And kind of like another standard one. The War Aliens, the Xenomorphs, whatever you want to call them. 
We have a pawn. Sorry, just go on. Hudson, who's one of my favorite characters. Come out of the goddamn walls! <coughs> Sorry, my goddamn throat. <coughs> Burke, yay, yeah. Yeah, let's make a figure out of that dick character. <coughs> and of course, the queen alien. Which I used to have the toy of her, like the original, like, um, the one by Kenner. I had, God, the 90s aliens toys by Kenner. I had, um, <coughs> How they used to just make ones up based off of animals. I had, I had um, the snake, the crab, the mantis, the cougar, the panther, the boar, uh, the rhino. Oh, that takes me back. I, I, my favorites were the panther and the boar. Now, finally, we have the Street Fighter characters. We have Guile, Ryu. Chun Li, Blanca, sorry about the lighting, E Honda, he's dancing, sorry, <laughs> I lost in the moment there, Delsin, Ken, I mean Ken, <laughs> Zangief, and then of course there's the four bosses who later became playable because they repackaged the game like six times. <laughs> but those were Balrog, Vega, Sagat, and M. Bison. Now, two of my favorite characters from the uh, original Street Fighter that are still two of my favorites were Blanca and Vega. You know, and I wonder, because there's so many other great characters in Street Fighter, I wonder if they'll make more of the uh, Street Fighter figures. I hope so. You know, <laughs> of course, maybe they'll just do a, what they did back then and repackage these ones and then just add like a few more characters. <laughs> you know, maybe they'll uh, re-release these, but with Cammy, DJ, Fei Long, and T-Hawk. <laughs> Who knows, but... So, uh, are you guys gonna pick any of these up or what figures or uh, franchise do you think they should make ones out of let me know in the comment section below and as always thanks for watching everybody i'll see you next time